Hello, my name is Coulter. I'm an engineer at Ricotta, and this video will cover camera shortcuts. Shortcuts allow users to seamlessly transition between multiple cameras, enabling users to jump from one camera to a neighboring camera and making it easy to follow subjects as they move. Shortcuts can be leveraged both in real time and when reviewing historical footage, helping you actively monitor incidents as they unfold and streamlining the investigation process. Setting up a shortcut is easy. Start by navigating to the camera's page. From here, Simply click on the camera you'd like to create a shortcut on. After you've selected the desired camera, click on Camera Overlays in the sidebar. From here, select Shortcuts and choose the Setup option. First, click on the camera view where you want to place the shortcut. Next, select the nearby camera you want the shortcut to take the user to. Finally, click where you want the other end of the shortcut to be placed. All shortcuts are bi-directional, meaning I can jump back and forth between the two cameras using the shortcut I just created. If you want to fine tune the placement of either end of the shortcut, you can do so after it has been created. After creating a shortcut, it can be accessed by clicking into either of the associated camera's live views. Ensure that the shortcuts overlay is selected in the sidebar. From here, simply mouse over the camera's view to see any shortcuts that have been created. Mouse over the shortcut icon to see a preview of the camera the shortcut will take you to. Click on the shortcut to jump between the views in real time. Shortcuts set up in a camera's live view will also show up when using the history player. The historical views will remain synchronized across cameras, making it easy to get different perspectives of the same incident unfolding. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have further questions, please visit our Knowledge Center or contact our 24-7 support team.